She's got what for evidence? Allison Perkins? She's gonna sleep with a creep who switched her with... She's going over to meet him at the Palace Hotel. Make me do this. No, don't even. What's this? Why, I believe that looks like an envelope. <laughs> oh, no, you're awfully happy. And why shouldn't I be? I'm getting married to Troy on Valentine's Day. That's just two weeks from now. And that's why I'm hand delivering the invitations. I'll need an RSVP, ASAP. You and your guests are cordially invited. Yeah, you can bring anyone but Lindsay. I don't believe it. You really did come back. How are you, Allison? <laughs> I thought you hated it here. You couldn't wait to get out. I did. Nothing, nothing in the world was gonna bring you back here. I wanted to see you. Nothing, nothing at all. So you can imagine my surprise when Mrs. Sharp told me who my visitor was. I just wanted to see how you were doing since you got moved back here. And out of the rubber room? I know that was a hard transition to make. You want something from me. Tell me. What do you want? It's about Dr. Troy MacGyver. Hey, it's my favorite little sister. Hey. So, why'd you ask me to come to lunch? It's not lunch, actually. I just, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna eat something anyway, because I am starving. You sure you want to order something? No, or? no. All right. I want to know what Lindsay Rappaport was doing in your office last night. I mean, I find her there, her clothes are all messed up, and she's acting really weird. What happened? I told her to stay away from you, and she said that that's not what you want. What else did she say? Nothing. What's going on, Troy? You know what's going on, Emily. Lindsay's threatening to tell Nori that I, that I was responsible for Joanna's death. She's been doing that for a while now. Yeah, well, now she's blackmailing me. So, that means that she's getting something from you. What are you giving her, Troy? Natalie's in trouble, and I mean she's in big trouble. Oh, my God. What happened? Where is she? Oh, uh, well, um, Rex told me. I mean, he came over to my place. I mean, he said he wanted to stay at my place, um, and he said he, he was allowed to stay over here, but uh, I know that you threw him out on his Could spot. you just tell me about Natalie, please? Okay. Rex told me that um, Natalie told him some stuff. I mean, stuff that she didn't want you to know. What kind of stuff? Please tell me what Natalie said. Natalie says she's going to sleep with Mitch Lawrence. What's wrong, darling? You know what's wrong? This isn't the first time I've touched you, Natalie. That was different. I thought you were my friend. Yes, well, now I'm your husband. And you. I'm about to become my wife in every possible way. One Life to Live on ABC, brought to you by Pepsi Complete. Just one and heartburn's done. I want you to be my wife, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Troy is giving Nora the ultimate symbol of his love. I don't ever want to lose you. I'm totally yours. Now you can share in their happiness with a beautiful ring of your own. 
Go to ABC.com or call 1-800-769-ABC1 now and shop the soap. It's on ABC Daytime. I shall not be escorting Madame Rappaport to your wedding or anywhere else. No? That you were wrong. What? Well, you know, you know, she said and you didn't deny and then you were... What are you exactly? We are not serious. Ah. Then why is she walking around like Landview's version of Doris Day? <sighs> you don't really expect me to explain Lindsay. No, oh, well, there's that. No, but you should have seen her at the gallery the other night when she was waiting for you. No, she please, please, enough, stuff. okay? I, I made a mistake. And Lindsay has a vivid imagination. Mm. I can't argue with you there. Besides, I know that you've um, set your standards quite a bit higher. What? I saw the way you took off after Liz when she saw you and Lindsay together. No. Oh, that. Yes. That. Gary told me you guys are getting back together again. And I do remember you actually saying to me at one point that she was the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> huh? Well, that must have been my delusion coming on. What are you talking about? Come on, RJ. Something's going on between you. I can even see it. Well, she couldn't. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I guess Elizabeth and I don't want the same thing. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> oh, I do, Max, every time I see you. Spare me the snappy repartee. Give me a drink, garçon. What can <laughs> You have had a few already, haven't you? Boy, if it isn't Allie McBeal, how are you? Could have used Jean Cart today. Well, forget it. You don't need to get me a divorce anymore. Roxy beat you to the punch. I think I'm missing something here. Uh, wait, is that what you wanted? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Okay. Well, in the meantime, now you can bring anyone you would like to as a guest to my wedding. What? As long as it's not Lindsay. What? I'm getting married to Troy on Valentine's Day. What? Oh, wow. Well, I hope your marriage lasts longer than mine did. Well, Angelina and Billy Bob's lasted longer than yours. My marriage to Troy will last forever. You? Uh, don't count on it. I know Troy came to see you when you were still at St. Anne's. Yeah, so? I know you told him that the escape was my idea. And that RJ, I got him to help us. You did. He wants to put me back here. Troy wants to put me back here, Allison. So how come you're still out? Because RJ won't corroborate your story. Ooh, lucky you. Please, you gotta promise me that you're not gonna say anything to anybody. You won't tell anybody else that it was my idea. What if somebody else tells him? You're the only one who knows. Only you can get me sent back here. Well, well, well. Look who decided to visit our humble abode. If it isn't Miss la -dee da What are you doing here? I'm just here to see Allison. I'm not looking for any trouble. <laughs> Too bad. You already got some. See, Allison is my friend. What? Yeah, and I don't like sharing. You two are friends? <laughs> she doesn't get me in trouble like you. Oh, yeah, yeah, me and Allison, we're real tight. And you know what else Goldilocks? We tell each other everything. <laughs> Natalie's gonna sleep with Mitch? Yeah, I thought you were in the slammer. What do you know about Natalie? Oh, calm down, Christian. Christian. Sorry. Could you just tell us, please, about Natalie? Yeah, Rex just said that she was gonna sleep with her husband, which yeah. wouldn't be so weird, except her husband is Mitch Lawrence. No, Christian, no, I don't you got him. him. No, you don't know where she is. He probably took her up to his place. No, Bo's already sent one of his men there. Let him handle it. Don't you dare go over there. Okay, anyway, look, it's not gonna do any good because she's not over at Mitch's place. She's at the um, Palace Hotel. Thank you, Roxanne, thank you. I've waited long enough, dear. Come on. Good, then you can wait a few more minutes. Natalie. Hey, why don't, why don't we make it romantic? You know, we can, we can turn out the lights we'll leave and... Leave the lights on. I like to see everything. Oh, champagne. Natalie, I'm surprised that you're stalling like this. I would think you'd be as anxious to get this done as I am. 
After all, the sooner we consummate our marriage, the sooner you can have a divorce. Don't touch me. Well, that's gonna make all this a little difficult, don't you think? No, I, I, I changed my mind. I, I can't do it. I gotta... Well, then you won't mind if I make a quick phone call. Don't. No. Just an old friend. A friend with connections in the jail where Christian Vega is incarcerated. So exactly what has Allison told you? Oh, you know, girl stuff. Like how she cocked, what, what was her name again? <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> how she cocked Roxy over the head with a silver bowl. <laughs> and how she stuffed that, that, that Vicki Davidson lady in a trunk. <laughs> yeah, she, she did that. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what else did you two share? <laughs> well, let's see. I told her how I took care of an uppity blonde who got on my nerves the way you always did. Well, it's, it's nice to have friends. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, you just holler if she starts bugging you. I'd be so pleased to help. See you later, Goldilocks. So you didn't tell her about the escape? It didn't come up. Please don't, Allison. I don't know, Tilly tells me everything. Don't you see that I wouldn't survive if I get put back in here. Uh, why not? It's nice. Yeah, I know that you feel that way, but it's different for me. It would kill me to be in here, assuming that Tilly didn't kill me first. Yeah. She really hates you. Yes, she does. So please don't do anything that would put me back in here. Especially now that I've got so much to live for on the outside. I am giving Lindsay something that she wants. What? Money? No, not exactly. Well, then what are you giving her, Troy? Because the only other thing that she wants from you... Just tell me that you aren't. Look, I am doing what I have to do, Emily. The other night when I came to your door, I thought that I was interrupting you and Nora. It was Lindsay. You are sleeping with her! Would you keep your voice down, please? How can you do that? Look, Emily, I told you, I will do whatever I have to do to keep Nora. You'll sleep with another woman, her worst enemy. It doesn't mean anything, okay? Of course it does. Emily, this is the only way that I can keep Lindsay from telling Nora about Joanna. Well, what about when she finds out about Lindsay? It's gonna be over, Troy. No, because Nora is never gonna find out. You don't think I'm going to have a long and happy marriage to Troy? You didn't say that you wouldn't be happy. Implied. Mm. It's nothing. Just forget I said anything. No. No, it's not nothing. This isn't the first time you've brought up something about Troy. Now, what gives? I just don't believe in marriage. And every now and then it comes out. I'll drink to that. Wait. No, this is, this is to do with Troy. Why, why are you so upset with him all of a sudden? I'm not. Yeah, you are. I mean, it's not like he's a, a lawyer or a cop. Come or... on, Nora. Give me a little more credit. Well, I'd like to. I don't understand it. I mean, after everything he's done for Carrie? Uh, I was not a friend of his brother's, and I don't like him. Troy is nothing like his brother's. As a matter of fact, they're complete opposites. No, absolutely not. What? Just call me overprotective, okay, Nora? It's like, you don't want to see me hurt by Lindsay. I don't want to see you hurt. Oh, you are so safe by the bell. Mm. It's mine. Mm. It's mine. Nora Buchanan. They assigned me what? Ca no, no. no. Uh, I guess I have to go for an interview before I meet with the Carringtons. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Oh, gee, Nora, it sounds like you're gonna have to go. You're not off the hook yet, buddy. <laughs> Look, I was just trying... I know, trying to protect me, but I don't need to be protected. I would that were true. It is true. You know, I wish you knew Troy. Maybe you'll get to know him. I hope you do. 
In the meantime, I hope you both can come to the wedding. We'll be serving adult beverages. Bye-bye, Max. Well, I'm going to be busy that day. Can I get a refill? <laughs> no, no, you have had enough. I'm fine. Really? Well, you can tell that to the cab driver on your way home. Oh, well, that would be just swell if I had a home to go to. Well, you know, I got lots of dishes in the back if you need a job. I beg your pardon, no. I I don't need a job. I am self-employed. I'm just exploring new possibilities here, that's all. OK. I'm fine. So that's good. I'm fine. I could use a place to crash, though. And you know, uh, you you have a room since Carrie moved out, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you are my only friend. Oh, uh, true. What the hell? Thank you. Hey, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You won't, you won't even know I'm there. You just be like a mouse. And I'll be gone before you know. It's just, this is just look, till, till I can get back on my feet, OK? You know who this is. No. No, I'm not gonna let you hurt Christian. Never mind. I knew you'd see things my way, darling. Shall we? Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC. Hey, long time no see, bro. <laughs> yeah, lucky me. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> Uh, what brings you here, little lady? I thought you had your own club to haunt. Oh, uh, yeah, indeed I do. So, why grace mine unless you're looking to buy my humble establishment as well? Oh, no way. I mean, you know, it's real nice. I mean, it needs a couple of touches here and there, but, you know, it's very nice. <laughs> so why are you here? Well, I'm here, um, because, You uh, thought Max would be here. Maybe. Well, he's not. Hey, uh, RJ. Hey, RJ. Come here. You know, uh, you know how you helped me, you know, when he was trying to pull a fast one on me and then wanted to get that quickie divorce? Yeah, yeah. And even though the judge has given you everything, you chose to stay married to Max. Yeah, well, I should have taken the money and run. I want to save myself a lot of heartburn. Oh, love, what are you going to do? Well, you know, well, love, you know, Max was never in love with me. Now he's getting exactly what he wanted. So, um, well, I bet he's having the time of his life, wherever he is. Well, actually, Max looked a little miserable. He did? He misses me? Well, no, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but, uh, yeah, he was missing something. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's in pretty bad shape. Well, I'll go find him. I, I can help him. Where is he? Come on, like you haven't done enough already? It, it's not enough for you to take his home and his business? Okay, look, you know, I know I was a little rough on him, but, you know, I'll find him and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say that I'm sorry that I was rough on him. You know, I think I can help him. So you're going to tell me where he is, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Great. I really need you. Oh, Luna.
Max, darling. You're gonna have your share of rough times. I know that just as sure as I'm sitting here. But darling, there's one other thing I know for sure. No matter what happens, no matter how bad it gets, you will always have one thing. You will always have my love. So darling, whenever you feel like you're going through a hard time and you feel like you've been beaten down and pushed around and you got nothing left to give, I want you to draw strength from that. Because my love, it's gonna always be there for you. That's a promise. It's strong, honey. It's stronger than life. It's stronger than death. Max is stronger than anything. You have so much to live for on the outside. Are you joking? No. Last time I saw you, you, you had a messed up daughter and you hated that woman, Nora Buchanan. I still hate her. See? I just have a better way of dealing with it now. I'm taking her man. Nora Buchanan's man is Troy MacGyver. That's right. He hates you. He doesn't hate me. You chained him to a wheel and left him there to die. Oh, that, you know, he wants me. I know he does. He's gonna leave her for me, I know it. Oh, right, and when is this gonna be? Before or after he puts you back in Statesville? Okay, he did try to do that, but RJ wouldn't help him, and you aren't either. I won't? No, you won't. You sound so sure. If there's one thing I know about you, Allison, you're loyal and you've always been loyal to me. Well, I am a loyal person. That's right. In the meantime, Troy and I are getting closer. You know, maybe they won't bring you back here. Maybe they'll take you to St. Anne's, because that's where you belong. What? That's where I was when I fell in love with Dave. So? So don't you see this is exactly the same? Don't you understand? Dave was so nice and kind to me and told me that he liked me and I loved him. But he turned out not to be Dave. He was Vicky's husband, Ben, and he was using me. I'm sorry about that, Allison. He would never leave his wife, Vicky. Just like your Troy will never leave his precious Nora. It, it's different for me. He cares about me. Ugh. If he didn't care about me, why would he be sleeping with me? Natalie, you okay? Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Ma. Baby. Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay? Huh? It's all right. It's over now. It's over. It's over, sweetheart. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I oh. thought it was the only way. No, 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 it's over. It's, it's, shh, shh. it's over, sweetheart. It's all over. You're over. <laughs> Come on, let's get you dressed. It's all over. It's finished. What did you do to her? Natalie is my wife. And that makes it okay to rape her? I didn't train her. Rape her. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. What, do you want to end up back in jail? That's where this man should be, in jail. You're the one that's gonna be doing time. No, no, what, what is he doing, doing here, not in jail? A judge dismissed the case. Seems Christian was set up. Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything about uh, shut that. Shut up. Where's Natalie? She's in there with Mrs. Davidson. Look, I didn't do anything. I tried to have a little marital bliss with my wife. Is there a law against that? Shut your mouth, No, no, man. Christian, look, use your head. I want to hear Natalie's side of the story. Natalie, do you want to press charges against Mr. Lawrence here? You are marrying Nora in two I, weeks. I know. I know. But it'll all be over by then. How do you know? Because, Emily, I mean, this is just a, a temporary solution until I can find a permanent way of keeping Lindsay from telling Nora about Joanna. Well, how are you going to do that? I know that Lindsay was the one behind the Statesville prison break. Can you prove it? Well, I tried to get R.J. Gannon to corroborate it, but he Troy. wouldn't go for it. Look, 
Emily, there is something here, okay? Something that I can nail Lindsay with. And you're sure that this is gonna work? The only thing that Lindsay hates worse than Nora is going back to Statesville Prison. And I can make that happen. And I know exactly where I have to go to get what I need. What are you doing here? The court assigns every defense attorney a certain number of legal aid cases. That doesn't really answer my question, does it? I'm representing Miss Perkins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to have a word with my client alone. Lindsay was just leaving. Yes, I was. It's good to talk to you, Allie. Excuse me for just a minute, please. Lindsay? Thought you wanted to be alone with your client. I overheard you speaking to her about the man you're sleeping with. And? And I'm really gonna be sorry that I'm doing this, but I'm gonna offer you some advice. I can hardly wait. I don't think you should be um, blabbing it around town that you're seeing RJ or whatever it is that you're doing. Whatever it is I'm doing? Yeah, we see RJ and you um, disagree on the nature of your relationship and he would appreciate it if you didn't go broadcasting it to everyone in the Commonwealth. I can't help it that I'm happy, though I'm sure it bothers you no end. Well, it does, because this little town crier routine of yours might ruin a chance that RJ has with the person he really wants to have a relationship with, Liz Reynolds. Nora, you don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I do know this. You must be pretty hard up if you gotta dredge up your old cellmates to gloat about your sex life. I'm pretty proud of my sex life, Nora. How about you? Hi. You didn't get a chance to introduce myself. I'm Nora Buchanan. Yes, nice to meet you. Sit. <clears throat> so are you going to be able to stop them from adding time onto my sentence? Um, I will be as honest with you as I possibly can be, Miss Perkins. I'm not sure I can. Oh. You see, this is sort of a, well, it's standard procedure with an attempted escape. And uh, not to mention, according to Lindsay Rappaport, at the time of the arrest, the whole thing was your idea. Huh. What the heck? I don't know that whiny little blonde anything. And I know you're gonna make mistakes, Max. You'll put your size 10 foot in your mouth when you say the wrong thing, or you might do the wrong thing, or you might hurt somebody, even though you don't mean to. But darling, you're gonna hurt them more if you don't try to make it up to them. Max, I love you, darling. I love you with all my heart. Hi. Oh, 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 hey, whoa, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I didn't think anyone would be here. Oh, you're right. Nobody is here. I have a key. See, from when I stayed here before, I, uh, I never give it back. I meant to. You really don't owe me any explanations. Right. Um, I just came here to get some things I left. Go ahead. Thanks. Wow. Something really nice about her. What? I don't know, it's her eyes, her smile, there's just really comforting. Yeah, they were. Yeah, but well, um, she's, that's my wife. I mean, that's, that's, she, she died several years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> I just lost my husband recently, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. It's a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, you know, not that I ever thought about it. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I'm just gonna go get my things. Okay. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. No, you're not. <laughs> hey, listen, it's not your problem, okay? Well, you know what? 
I'm really tired of my problems. So, how mm. about you tell me what's bothering you? I wouldn't even know where to start. Of course, Natalie's gonna press charges. Well, I can't imagine what those charges could possibly be. I was merely trying to fulfill my duties to her as a husband. You tried to rape her. No, no, no. Look, if you keep saying that, I'm gonna sue you. you. Keep a lid on it. I mean it. You are so evil. You are evil down to your marrow. Apparently, no one believes me here. Why don't you uh, give them a little enlightenment, will you? Natalie would never want to do anything with hey, you. Hey, I thought you were going to keep a lid on no, this No, no, that's enough out of both of you. Sweetheart, it's OK. You can say anything you want to, because Christian and I will not leave you. And I've got to hear it from you, Natalie. Now, you want to press charges? Mitch made these threats. He said he had these people who would do terrible things. And he said he had people that would kill for him. That's OK, honey. Listen, you come down the station, make a formal statement, OK? And you, Fred Astaire, lose the funny jacket. You're coming with me. Where? Where? I got enough to take you in, Lawrence. You guess where? You're still my wife, Natalie. Shut up. Don't you forget it. Move. Come on. Let's go home. Wait. I mean, thank you. Um, I need, I need to talk to Christian. It's okay, Mrs. Davidson. I'll, I'll take care of her. All right. Thank God you're all right. Thanks, Mom. You okay? Interrogation room open. All right, keep it that way. I'm bringing Mitch Lawrence in for questioning. Bo, hmm? I'd like to go with you to the station, please. No, Vicky, come on. You're exhausted. Why don't you go home and get some rest? No, no. I want to tell Natalie myself that I saw Mitch in jail, that I saw you put him there. Too bad you won't be able to do that, Vicky. Natalie simply imagined she heard threat. She's not imagining anything. You're taking her word over mine? You bet. There's no proof. Come on, let's go. This isn't over. Oh, yes, it is. You see, from now on, all that matters is what nearly happened up in that room, what you tried to do to my daughter. I didn't do anything to Natalie. I didn't have to. She'll tell you so herself. Natalie was a very willing participant. Natalie, I have to say anything. Yes, I do. No, no, I'm just glad I got here in time. Me too. I mean, one more minute. I tell you, I, I really felt like killing him this time. I know. But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to get me thrown back in jail. God, I, I don't want that. And I'm not going to let Mitch Lawrence get anywhere near you. Just like you did today. So I'm. What did he do to you to get you to come here? Did he drug you? No. Well, did he threaten you? I mean, he had to do something. You, were, you wouldn't just come up here with him. That's what you don't understand. I did. I... And when he wanted to make love, to me, I, I didn't fight him. I didn't fight him. I didn't stop him, Christian. I didn't even try and stop him. Where did he 
making things difficult. Because it's a lovely afternoon, and I'm so glad that you have stopped by to make it all the more lovely. Why can't you just go along with my story? <sighs> Which story would that be, Lindsay? You know, there are so many. That we're dating. Oh, oh. The nightmare. Well, that's simple, because there's nothing in it for me. What about the fact that I, that I haven't told Bo or your daughter that you helped Allison and me escape from prison? And you're not going to, because if you do, I will then be forced to tell Bo Buchanan all manner of things. You wouldn't. Or maybe I should just tell Nora about you and Troy. Don't you dare. What's wrong? I thought you were all excited about your new relationship. Are I thought he only wanted you. You can't tell Nora about that. Because if I do, then Nora will drop Troy, and Troy will leave you. He's not gonna leave me. No, well then, you shouldn't mind if I tell Nora. I need time. Excuse me. Eventually, he's gonna realize that I'm the woman that he really wants. And in the meantime, he's gonna keep seeing me, so I won't tell Nora his secret. Enjoy it while it lasts. And it's going to last. Oh, well, then you obviously have not heard the news. What news? Well, Nora and Troy are going to be married on Valentine's Day. The hell they are. That's a lovely ring. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Are you engaged? Yes. When's the wedding? Uh, well, actually, it's, uh, it's very soon. It's um, Valentine's Day. Ah, romantic. Yeah, I thought so. But then Troy's a pretty romantic guy. That's the name of my fiance, Troy McIver. Oh, yes. It says here that you've spent quite a bit of time in St. Anne's and that you were only recently declared competent. Yes, do you think you'll be able to get me off on this? I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, you do, and I'll tell you who Lindsay's really sleeping with. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. When do I get to testify against the shooter? I know that you're never gonna look at me the same way again. The wedding is in two weeks. You cannot stop it. I have no interest who Lindsay Rappaport is sleeping with. Maybe you should. After Todd saves Blair from the mob, will Sam get in the way of their new life? Watch One Life to Live tomorrow. Next on General Hospital. If you fail to advise the court of these developments, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go to not only the judge, but the press as well. I'm not going to be locked up, Brenda. Tell me what to do. Okay, I'm going to get Jason and Brenda out of this. Admit what you did! Brought to you by Manwich Sloppy Joe Sauce. Make tonight a Manwich night.